Welcome to the Pace Booth here at IPC Apex. I'm joined by Mike Lucius, who's the Western Regional Sales Manager. Northeastern Regional Sales Manager. Well, I was I was just off yeah. by a few degrees. <laughs> yeah, no problem. And Canada. And Canada. Yeah, that's right. Wow, you're a busy guy. Uh, okay, Mike, we're here to look at a new product you're launching this week. Uh, you know, big clue on the top of the, the yeah. unit. Um, it's the ADS 200. Tell us a little bit about it. What's special about it? Well, first of all, the ADS technology is our new AccuDrive system. And it's our heating technology that we drive to the tips. Mm -hmm. um, also, we made big improvements from our last side iron in the TD100. The side iron here is actually called the TD200. Mm -hmm. And we implemented a cool touch technology. The handpiece is made of aluminum. So it's with able to withstand the high heat temperatures through long-term production use. So it can be, it doesn't heat up at all. The human body's 98 degrees. We can run the temperature at 850 and the handpiece only gets up to 100 degrees and stays there all day long. So you can't tell the difference between, which is pretty nice. Um, the tips, we use a K-type thermocouple inside of it for more accurate tip temperature control. So we have two different types of tips our standard application tips, and then we have our ultra performance tips. So with the ultra performance tips, we have an extra thermal reservoir here that's where they push the 120 watts that the unit has. Okay, so basically the, the, the thermocouples are closer to the tip of, of the, uh, the, closer to the end of the tip, should I say, so that's what's giving you the higher accuracy. Yes, the K-type's right up to the edge of the tip on all of them, so we're at plus or minus five degrees temperature on all the tips. We have, and then the two different tips price-wise, the standard application tips are $11 or so, and the higher performance are only $13. So our cost of ownership with the system is much less than all of our competition. Right, right, okay. And um, what about the, the unit itself? I mean, how do you achieve the, the accuracy on, on the heat, heating system? Well, the accuracy on the heating system all still comes back, closed back to the tip. Mm -hmm. Um, it is closed loop, so it's instantaneous load sensing. So when I go and put the tip up to a high, high mass application, it can sense that it needs to drive more power to the tip. Okay. It, it is fairly accurate uh, in terms of the temperature that you could preset it to. Uh, uh, what sort of range does it work with in, in terms of accuracy? Well, we have three preset temperatures that are, you can program into the system. Mm -hmm. The defaults are 650, 700, and 750. Mm -hmm. And you can change those. You can make them 600, 650, 700 you want for leaded applications. Yep. Uh, just a simple programming here. You hold the black button, turn it on, and you go through a quick process. But turn it off to on, it can reach 700 degrees within five seconds. So it's really fast. And the great part about it, the unit is $239 list price. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't normally talk about prices, but that certainly sounds very cost-effective. Uh, so, so uh, there we go. It's very accurate heating system. Uh, the tips. What about the the durability on the tips? Do, do they last uh, just as long? Is there any? What's the sort of average lifespan on them? That's going to vary from every operator by the way they take care of their tips. If what temperature they're using, what fluxes they're using, mm -hmm. are they running them all day? So one customer might last two weeks, another customer might last six months. Mm -hmm. So that, that's always gonna vary from customer to customer. Okay. Okay. And customers are looking for any sort of um, data feedback or, or traceability, um, do you have uh, systems to help them there? Uh, we don't have any of that information yet on this. Right, right, <laughs> okay. But do you have, um, you, you said you could partner with some companies to do uh, analytics? some sort we're working on doing some ESD testing with it on independent with independent companies we've done our own but we want to unbiased information on that right. we're still working through that right great all right Mike uh, I, I guess the machine the ADS 200 is available now yep yep it's coming out now in March okay great all right. yes sir so available from March there it is ADS 200 from Pace thank you appreciate it